Yeah. Yeah, we good. All right, Shalom Israel. We're going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahushai. Ba'ashem Rakapadash. Shalom to the Apostle and Elders, the Great Millstone, and Shalom to Black Abdir, Jones Rigger Faith, and Labor of Love and Truth Society. I asked the brothers to give my soldier faith. Let New Jersey get here with the weekly sit down. You know, today's topic we're going to get into is controlling the narrative. All right, and uh, you know, getting into this because you know, we know <clears throat> that the devil is at the forefront, you know, uh, controlling the media, you know, uh, controlling YouTube, controlling so called freedom of speech, controlling everything you know that's out there to push forward their agenda, you know, while uh, trying to negate everything that's that's of the truth and that's actually wholesome for the people and just force feeding them lies and, and, and BS, you know. <clears throat> This is Micah chapter 3 verse 11 It says The heads thereof judge for reward mm -hmm. And the priests thereof teach for hire mm -hmm. And the prophets thereof divine for money Yet will they lean upon the Lord And say It's not the Lord among us None evil can come upon us And that's <clears throat> the different forms of You know your, your, your church structures Even going up into the government You know <clears throat> They do all of these things you know, that's against the Lord, that's against the scriptures, that's all for their own pockets, but yet they say, God bless America. You know, or, or the churches, they have the prosperity doctrine, so on and so forth. They have their 501c3 charter, you know, which is <clears throat> backed by the government so that they don't get taxed, so they keep more money in their pockets, you know, for their luxurious lifestyle and things like that. Why you, they expect you to pay exactly 10% while they live off of the people and live luxurious off of it while you're still poor and broke. You now, it's always a narrative being pushed by people that are of this world. When you look at us, that's why the scriptures say, uh, uh, to those of you are, are troubled, rest with us, because we don't seek to gain nothing off of you at all. This is through the spirit of probably how watch me out, shout that we put our lives on the line week in and week out for our own salvation and for the rest of our people to actually hear the word and to condemn the wicked. You know, so we're just doing our jobs, but they have every opportunity, you know, uh, uh, at their hands to, to use and abuse you by way of their own means. And that's exactly what they're doing by controlling, you know, the storyline, so to speak. Hey, and if I may <coughs> add, if I may add, these devils, these Edomites, the so-called white man today, he's been controlling the narratives in slavery, you know. He's been controlling the narrative since slavery, and for the simple fact, he was able to control the narrative because, why? He had the history books. You know, this devil had leverage over us for the simple fact that he was able to tell a lie because he knew the truth, you know? And, you know, as far as that particular quote, you know, Apostle Gabar, you know, enlighten us with that because it, it makes a lot of sense. In order to tell a lie, you got to know the truth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, if you have a possession, which is your woman, you know, if you don't want her knowing some type of information, you know the truth of where you was at, what you was doing, you know what I'm saying? But you're going to tell her something different just to keep her at peace, just to keep her at peace, just to shut her up, so to speak, right? So don't let the left hand know what the right hand do it, mm. to a certain extent, right? So there was a point to where we were possessed by Edom, you know, and we still in his hands because why? There's birth certificates, there's social security numbers. You know what I'm saying? The Lord gave us to the hand of our enemies because we didn't hearken unto the word of the Lord. But just to get back to the point, you know, the Lord pretty much had it set up to where this devil um, pretty much controlled the narrative in hardcore bond of slavery because here it is. He, he, he will be in the back pew, you know, to where he will set up a slave, you know, an Israelite, so to speak, to teach the Bible the way he wanted them to teach it. Mm -hmm. Not the way the Lord intended it for, for it to be written. You know what I'm saying? That's why today you got a lot of people who don't want to believe in the Bible because they say, oh, that's a white man's book. You know what I'm saying? Because he controlled the narrative for so long. Not knowing that the Bible is in the favor of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You know? And they do it to this very day. That's why, like the brother mentioned, you know, they got something called a 501c3 charter, which is what? A tax exemption. You know, every business in America gets taxed. 
Esau is greedy as fuck, man. So if he's going to set up, you know, a particular, um, if he's going to uh, set up a, a, a particular document, you know, please believe it's going to be for his benefit. Mm -hmm. You know, and one thing about a person, if you could control, if you can control their spirituality, you can control them. That's why it was so effective in hardcore bondage slavery to where he can just set up, you know, a, a, a house nigga, so to speak, um, to teach the Bible how he wanted them to teach it, just to persuade the rest of the, the just to persuade the rest of the slaves, you know, and that tradition carried on to this very day. So you got a lot of these Baptist uh, preachers, uh, Seven Day Adventists, whatever category you fall in, you know, uh, Jehovah's Witness, whatever category you fall in. You got a lot of these people teaching the narrative of Esau, the so-called white man, and not of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. And at the end of the day, there's going to be judgment for that. Mm -hmm. You know? Because they're doing it for what? Money! Because it's what? Tax exemption. Mm -hmm. As the scripture just said in Micah, uh, the third chapter, the 11th verse. That really it shows they don't have no, uh, no, no uh, sincerity of truth in them <clears throat> when it comes to this Bible, because they're really banking on the... the uh, powers that be to be uh, everything, you know, and not realizing that the powers that be that is set up through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai on the left-hand side through uh, Satan given to Esau, all right, that they're going to lose. And everybody that's on their side, as the scriptures say, shall be thrust through, mm -hmm. you know? Hey, uh, you have a scripture? Uh, yes. Uh, Second Peter chapter 2, verse 1. Um, a couple of verses. But there were false prophets among the people even as there shall be false teachers among you, mm. who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them, that bought them, Blasio, denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. See? And that goes to show that this yeah. is the truth. Yeah. It says what? It's evil spoken of. Mm. You could go about and be what really whatever um, 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 so-called religion, because this isn't a religion. You could, if we was out there being um, five percenters, Muslims, you know, uh, our videos wouldn't get taken down. Right. You know, we we wouldn't uh, be hated uh, hated the way that we are. But we're we're uh, spoken evil spoken of because we have the truth. Or if right. we was out there preaching to be a transformer, they would love it. Yeah. They yeah. would love it. That's right. That's right. Yeah. There will be no pushback against it. It'll be uplifted. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, hey, and if I may add, and that proves, and that proves that a lot of these other so-called religions are, isn't the truth, mm. because, and, and that's the main reason why they wanted to separate church from state. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't want to mix politics or current events with the holy scriptures. They wanted to separate the church from the state. You know what I'm saying? So, like a lot of these other religions. They have no prophecy in them. Mm. Prophecy is in alignment with current events. Woo. Yep. You know? So they don't have a leg to stand on any goddamn way. Mm -hmm. You know? 5% of they can't tell you about no prophecy. Islam can't tell you about no prophecy. Christianity. Christianity can't tell you about no prophecy because they say we don't even go to the book of Revelation. Well, right. Revelation is prophecy. Right. You know, the scriptures say, uh, what's that? Revelation 12 and 9. What did I say? Um, how, how you a friend of Yahweh Shai? Somebody get it real quick. Salah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The testimony of Yahweh Shai oh, oh, is the spirit of, the spirit of prophecy. Uh, 19 and 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 19 and 10. Salah, yeah. Well, you don't got to get it. You know what I'm saying? The, matter of fact, let's just get it for verbatim. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant and thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. That's right, so the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So here it is, if you if, 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 here it is, if you got questions and you go into a church asking about a question, and uh, asking about a scripture in Revelation, and if your pastor is telling you, Look, we don't go into the book of Revelation because it hasn't been un un unlocked yet. That's only because he's going according to that 501c3 charter and make sure you don't go back there next Sunday. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because he's working for the enemy. Because here it is. The scripture is telling you, look, 
The spirit of Yahweh who they call Jesus Christ, is the spirit of prophecy. You got to know prophecy. Yeah. You because prophecy is what to say before. You know what I'm saying? So you got to see what's coming in order to prevent yourself from falling into the particular ditch that the devil got set up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures say the prudent perceive the evil and hide it from self. So if you can't foresee something, how can you hide yourself? Hey, how, how are you going to worship something you don't know? How is it that the Bible has the book of revelations, which the word revelations means to reveal, but you can never understand what's being revealed? Reveal. So there's never a time where it's going to be revealed. Or if the true men of the Lord, as uh, Jeremiah 3.15, the Lord said, I will give you pass according to my heart, will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Mm -hmm. When the true men of the Lord come and reveal the prophecies, mm -hmm. oh, no, 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 that's not it. Right. right. And then Revelation, is, really, Revelation is just a combination of the whole, the rest of the Bible. So if you don't understand Revelation, you don't understand the rest of the Bible. Mm -hmm. and, and not only that, that's pretty much telling you these devils don't want you to know the true color of the Lord. Mm. The Revelation 1 and 13 tells you the pigment of the Lord, Ooh. what he looked like. Yep. So here it is, he got this image of a of a of a of a, of a pale-faced bastard with dull stringy hair and an individual who doesn't have red eyes. Right? So if you read the scriptures for yourself, that would denounce the image that they got set up. Don't match up. So that's why they say, oh, we don't touch Revelation. Right. Because it hasn't been revealed. So if it wasn't revealed, why is it in the book? Mm. Right. Yeah, why would it be in the book? Yeah, it's too touchy. Yeah. Sensitive. To the devil. Yeah, to the devil. Because yeah. it's the truth. Because it's not for a state. <laughs> I got something uh, right quick. So Revelation chapter 5, verse 4, right to the point says, And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look their own. Then they want to stop right there. But read the next verse. It says, and one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Mm. See, you so called Christian pastors, weep not. Behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book mm -hmm. and to loose the seven seals thereof. So, so it was unlocked. So it was unlocked. There you go. That was, so if, if your pastor tells you, yeah, right? Yeah, that was if your pastor that. telling you that it's locked, don't believe him, man. Don't believe Right here, it says that it's unlocked. Mm. Yeah, I got something. Because of, uh, mm -hmm. because of Yahweh shot. You know, who was world inwardly called Jesus Christ. You know, when he came, he opened it up. And, and like it said in uh, in the book of Acts, man, that uh, uh, it said the Holy... Uh, let me grab that real quick. So lock it, Acts uh, 1 and 6. Yep. It, it says... Uh, it says... Uh, well, I'll get to the point, verse 8. It says, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you. Okay, it says, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. So, you know, it's plain that it, that, that that what they're saying is pure bullshit, but it's just a diversion tactic for them to uh, uh, divert you into not asking no questions, man. Yeah. Hey, Salaga, real quick, because this is, like like they say, uh, the truth sounds like hate to those who hate the truth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like the truth sounds like, 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 like here it is. We saying the truth. You know what I'm saying? But the, it, it sounds like we hating on these devils. It sounds like we hating on these Edomites. You know what I'm saying? Because essentially they hate the truth. It's not in their favor. Exactly. So that's why they tell them uh, they, and they tell their congregation not to speak on Revelation. Because Revelation condemns you Edomites. Revela Revelation 18 condemns you. Revelation the first chapter condemns you. Revelation 17 condemns you. Revelation 9 condemns you. <laughs> he, the Lord hates Esau. Revelation 9 and 13. Look, put it like this. The Bible condemns you. Oh, Romans. 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 Romans the ninth chapter condemns you. The whole the Holy Scriptures condemn you. In and out. That's why you come against the prophets. That's why you take our videos down. Because what we speak is in alignment to the current events of what's going on. Because why? We have the spirit of prophecy. And going back to the title of the topic, control the narrative. Mm -hmm. This is why they want, want to, to control. control the narrative. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now I got an article, but it's going to bring out scriptures in the midst of it because it's quite a few paragraphs, but this fits perfectly and I can mm -hmm. put it up. It's a bomb. It's uh, from um, Psychology Today uh, from Christy Lee Hockenberger. 
That sounds like a Jewish Edomite. Yeah, yeah right? Oh, it says uh, the title oh, is journey. Regaining Control yeah. of the Narrative. Okay. Rewrite Your Present and Future. Now it says, one of the most important tools in a narcissist's toolbox is the ability to control the narrative. Mm -hmm. Manipulation is a key trait of individuals with controlling personalities. Call it gaslighting, whitewashing, or rewriting the script. Mm -hmm. The crux Ooh, of the matter is word. the manipulator's desire to control the narrative and either be the hero or the victim. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> does and, that not speak not to you? Right. So, see, and, and that's what the devil does. Because what the devil has been doing uh, for years is, here it is, he will paint the picture as if um, the one who's being oppressed is doing the oppressing. Mm -hmm. Right? For example, Saddam Hussein, Muammar mm -hmm. Gaddafi, uh, what's my man from Venezuela? Hugo Chavez. Hugo Chavez. When you check these people out, they were just looking out for their own countrymen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They were looking out and they, and they provided benefits for their own countrymen and they didn't want to do deals with the devil, the so-called white man. So here it is. They painted the picture. Oh, what's hell? But Ben Laden. They painted the picture as if these people were the oppressor. However, they were the ones being oppressed by the oppressor, which was Edom, the so-called white man. So in the set, in essence, he was playing what victim. Mm -hmm. Look, they had weapons of mass destruction. Oh, Afghanistan, they bombed the twin towers. You know, we got to go there now and, and 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 seek revenge. You know, for the sake of the American people. Mm -hmm. When in essence, they really wanted to go over there to take over the natural resources. Yeah. You know. Yeah, real quick. This is Romans chapter three. Oh, excuse me, Romans one and verse twenty-two. It says, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools mm. and changed the glory of the uncorruptible power into the image made like to corruptible man mm. and to birds and to, to four-footed beasts and creepy things. Wherefore, the Most High also have gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. You know, but the point is, you know, who changed the truth of the Most High oh, into a lie? Matter of fact, Slaki, I'm jumping the gun. Damn, my bad. Verse 24, wherefore the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies and between themselves. And we know what that is, mm -hmm. you know, transforming, you know, uh, all that other crazy shit, right? Mm -hmm. Verse 25, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who was blessed forever to walk. You and, know? And, it's like, and, and that's what happens. Because what the scriptures tell us, the scriptures tell us to remove not the old landmark. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord, the Lord has certain uh resources that, that that that's within certain countries, you know, so a bartered system can be established. But what Esau and Edom want to do? He wanted it all. You know, because essentially he know the history. This is, this is the only time he's going to be able to have it all because he's going to be in captivity. He's going to get the worst of the slavery. And, not, and after the thousand years, he's going to be birthed off the face of the earth. So he wants it all. But what's the truth of the matter? To, to remove not the old landmark. Mm -hmm. But he's trying to change that truth into what a lie. Rewrite the script. He's trying, he's trying to rewrite the script to, make, to invade these particular countries but paint the narrative as if He's doing something right, as if he's the hero, when in actuality he's the villain. Yeah, Jacob, right? Jacob's blessing. Right, just like with Bat with Batman. You check yeah. Bane out; he's the hero. Yep. <laughs> Bane is the hero, but he paints the narrative as if he's the what? The villain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's he going to do with the Israelites? Here it is. He's going to paint the narrative like we the villain. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why that movie never came out. With um, mm. what's that movie called? Uh, Asher. Asher. Yeah. That was going to be his extreme attempt, but right, what this right. truth, he, he he checked out the uh, the demographic mm -hmm. of where this truth was at, and like we're not going to be able to pull this off, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because this truth spread like wildfire, so they had to find the alternative. And they was using Danny Glover. Well, Danny Glover was the director or yeah, 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 a yeah, writer yeah. or whatever the case yeah, is, right, yeah. and he's a Jake, right? Played a lethal weapon, right? Uh, and Makai Classic. Pfeiffer, he yeah. was one of the, you know, he was a popular actor in the 90s and 2000s. 
You know, so so Esau tried his hand. You know, but no matter what he does, he's going to be unsuccessful in it. Job five and twelve tells us that. Mm. You know. Yeah. Uh, and real quick, just to speak on this, like I was saying, like uh, pretty much uh, one of the most important tools of the narcissist is the ability to control the narrative, right? Mm -hmm. And you look up just looking at the word narcissist. Uh, this is what Esau has. He has NPD, Narcissistic Personality Disorder. <laughs> a disorder in which a person has an inflated self of importance. Right. Inflated. He, yeah. yeah. He, he inflates himself. He, yeah, he thinks he's bigger than what he is. Yeah. When you're really small fry, man. Right. And he's know he's inferior to Jake on every level. Right. This is why he has to have that inflated uh, uh, worth of himself. Right? And it says... Hey, you, you uh -huh. loosely break that word down. Inflated, not flated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because in is a prefix to what? Meaning what? Not. Mm -hmm. God. You know what I'm saying? God. Like insecure. Yeah. It means you're not secure. Exactly. Insecure you know, like, funds. You don't have the funds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, just real quick, it says, narcissistic personality disorder is found more commonly in men, so-called white men. The cause is unknown, right? but likely involves a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Mm -hmm. Genetically, you know you're inferior. Exactly. Every other way, you know you're inferior. Mm -hmm. You know the Heavenly Father doesn't love you. This is why you have to, you have to, uh, uh, honestly, they have to find some type of way to feel good about themselves. Right. They got to be the one to, I don't want this to go somewhere else, but they got to be the one to stand out in the midst of the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They got to be that one to stand out, always the one to have the attention on them all the time. That's a narcissist, and that's what Esau is. Man. See, and, and, and really, and a lot of times it's not even about money. A lot of times it's not even about money to, to, to why Edom feels a way about you because he has the money. This devil is, is just pissed off at your appearance, for one. Mm -hmm. You know, how other people may gravitate towards you, for two. You know, your skills, your abilities, your capabilities. He, he's jealous of all of that, you know? He, he's, he, I ain't gonna say he's jealous, but he, he's covetous of, of all of that, you know? And for the simple fact that he's covetous of that, he hates you for it, you know? But that's the way the Heavenly Father created the situation. Mm -hmm. He created one vessel for honor. He created one vessel for dishonor. Mm -hmm. It's just like that movie, The Good Son, mm -hmm. you know, with Macaulay Culkin, yeah. mm -hmm. you know? Hey, uh, somebody grab, um, just, uh, uh, Maccabees for 348 and um, Psalms 49 and 11. Uh, this, this shows you, you know what I mean, the, the narcissistic behavior mm -hmm. and, and, and the way that they control the narrative and things. And I'm going to just read this while Brother grab it. It says, chances are, if you are reading this blog, you are involved in a narcissist rewrite of history. Mm -hmm. This whole current world we're living in is a rewrite of history. History. Right. Well, what's the Renaissance? <laughs> right. Renaissance means rebirth. rebirth. Yeah. <laughs> hey, when Rome fell, who came in power? Israelites. Israelites. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah. This is Reverend uh, Philadelphia, First Maccabees three yeah. and forty eight, and lay open the book of the law wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What well, over Jake image? That's a rewrite. You know what I'm saying? Whitewash. That's a whitewash. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Iconoclasm. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, bring that up. This is uh, mm. Psalm chapter 49, verse 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever in the, in the, dwelling, in the dwelling places to all generations. Mm -hmm. they so, like, yeah, so, 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 so does a thought make it true? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. What well, Romans 3 and 3 you say? Oh, wrong then. Because I tell you the truth, now I become your enemy. No, not that one. Oh, okay, okay. Um, that's wrong. Yeah, yeah, I believe you make the faith for the most Oh, it's like it. Yeah, I make the faith Just because you think that we're not saying the truth, does that make it not true? Yeah. Right. Just like here it is, you think that your house is going to continue forever. Do you think that's going to happen? A thought is a thought. That's why Elon Musk is building a He's making a whole new city. And he's gonna call it Starbase, Texas, mm. and that's gonna be the city where they go back and forth from Earth to other planets. Mm. That's what this clown thinks, man. See, mm. but but and, but that's and and that's why we gotta give um all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, because here it is Yahweh Shai had the thought of not wanting to go into that cross, mm. but what what he said to subject himself into the power of Yahweh, mm. he said, if it be thy will, mm. let this cup pass from me. Mm. 
Like it, it, mm. it all boils down to the will of the Heavenly Father. Mm, it is Edom is going to simply say, like, eh, our house is going to continue forever, it, despite how the Heavenly Father feels. And, and, and that's what you get, what they call controlled demolition. Right. That's what this was, a controlled demolition. Yeah. A breakdown and build back up better. Right. Yeah. Demolition, man. Move. Yeah. Mm. Mm. He's destructive. Mm -hmm. he, that's all this devil is, is destructive, man. You check out an Edomite, they love destruction. Damn, and that makes perfect sense. The movie Demolition, man, you got Sylvester Stallone. You know what I'm saying? But well, he can get a jig or whatever, but and then you got What's like he's man? posing as a, a white man, Edomite, and then Wesley Snipes, a black man. Mm -hmm. Demolition, man. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know. Uh, finish that up. <laughs> Calm. It says the inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. In their dwelling places to all generations, mm -hmm. they call their lands after their own names. Mm. That's a rewrite. Mm. Wow. That's a rewrite. Mm. The, the lands. Mm. It changes. Yeah, you be changing the, the, the okay. names of the lands from what the Heavenly Father originally stated from us. Right. And the scriptures also say, uh, Isaiah 25 and 7, in this mountain, uh, you shall uh, remove the face of the covering cast. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Changing the names, changing the names of each individual. Uh, Nation mm -hmm. and changing the lands in which they used to live in to confuse the that's a whole complete rewrite. And, and it, sh it shows you how dark and sinister Esau is because not mm -hmm. only that, you know, he's going inside ourselves to change what our DNA. Yeah, yeah. Damn, yeah. talk about control the narrative. He's uh, trying man. to eliminate the Most High. Yeah. He has no credit. He gives no glory. The Most High not in all his thoughts. Mm -hmm. He wants to erase the Lord. Yo. Basically, he he want to still this earth from the Lord because the foundation was set from the heavenly father and he set up who he have chosen, you know, and here it is. He's taking everything that's of the Lord and making it his by doing what he do. And you know, real quick, you know what I found funny, right? You know, in the movies, how Esau have like AI coming into play and they fearing AI take over. Mm -hmm. So you fearing a robot taking you over that you created. Right. But yet you're a robot trying to take over <laughs> the most high who created you. Right. right, right you know what I'm right, saying? Right. Like, yeah, <laughs> they, they, they scared they scared, they scared right. of a bunch of J Fox. Right. You know what I'm saying? They scared of a bunch of J Fox. But, <laughs> but it's like you you check it out, it's like the heaven the the, the the heavenly father the heavenly father got it, you know, laid out to the point to where Go ahead, man. Yeah, I, well, well, I was gonna say this. Why, why, why would we fear robots when the Most High created spirits, and He controls the spirits? What's right. greater, a robot or the spirit? Right. right. Uh, matter of fact, the robot has to have some sort of spirit, and that's given by the heaven. Well, let me say this, because you know, let me just say this, because every element has some sort of life. Yeah. Every element has some yeah. sort of spirit. Not saying yeah. it has a human. Man spirit, yeah. but it has some sort of spirit. Like trees carry spirits. He that is spiritual, you know. He that got ears to hear, let him hear. You know. So therefore, like Elder Apostle Lacar, yeah. years ago, yeah, 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 it got yeah. all crazy when Apostle Lacar said a car has a spirit. Yeah. Right. And that's true. A car does because it's elements. elements right. yeah. You know. At any given time, all right. If if the uh, the Lord wanted to, he could turn that car into a human. He could turn that car yeah. into a tree. Uh, they show it all the time on witch in witchcraft. Mm -hmm. You got David Blaine, Chris Angel. Dave mm -hmm. will take a loaf of bread and turn it into a snake. Yeah. You know, because they're just manipulating the elements. Exactly. So it has life. Exactly. You know. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I got a quick precept. Oh, sorry. No, I said I forgot what I was gonna say. But I got a precept. I got a precept. Well, let me read mine real quick. Real quick. <laughs> 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 real quick. Um. Uh, the point, I'm going to read into it. The point is in 19. And uh, it says Romans 9 and 11. And, and it says, For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of Yahweh according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. It was said unto her, The elder shall serve the younger. But he wants to rewrite that. Right. It says, As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? God forbid, for he say unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Mm -hmm. 
So that means the Most High exists, man. He's not up there just gonna let things be. If I, he, if I may add, mm -hmm. a lot of people got a problem with that, man. You know, a lot of people got a problem. You know, why the most most sides wrote, Why he doing that? Why he doing this? <clears throat> hey, he's more. He could do whatever the hell he want. Right. Who the fuck are you to try and tell him what he, what he can do, man? But that's why the Lord said, when nobody was around, who gave me counsel? Right. You know. Hmm. Yeah, and he, we, you know, we want to touch on this video we have queued up, and it's Christian pastor preach preach. We want to we want to call him. He would never go and explain Romans ninth chapter. You know, he can't explain why the Lord said he loved Jacob and hated Esau. All right. So anyway, verse 15, it says, well, 16. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the most high that showeth mercy. For the scriptures say unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he heartened. Here's the point. Thou will say then unto me, why do he yet find fault? For who have resisted his will? And Esau, all right, I could continue to read, but uh, in it there, Esau believes that the Most High, you know, made fault with him. His genetic, you know, his blood show forth through his skin. Mm -hmm. You know, he's not as strong in uh, melanin. As the rest of the world, let me say first Jake and then you got the other nations. They got strong melanin, you know. Uh, what is it? The way that the world works, you know, as far, far as how food's supposed to grow, the process of uh, life itself. He's changed it. In this Western mentality, it's became the Western <clears throat> mentality and society of this world we live in, which is Babylon the Great, have became a norm throughout the world. Right. You could suppose you supposed to go to these other countries. And these other countries, they're either, uh, let's say, still living some sort of life according to the ancient customs to a degree or living off the land. But if they're going to update, they're going to update in this way where everybody, you know, they live it according to how America is. Like what I'm trying to say is like here in America and of course in England and like that, you have what nine to fives, you got rush hours. You got skyscraping buildings. Well, this could be seen everywhere now. Right. In certain places, uh, you had it where it was still of the past. It was still of washing their clothes through the well, the water. You know, it meant to us it's poor. You know, but that's a better way of living, living in freedom than to be controlled by a government. You know, which, yeah, that's it, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um... Uh, back to um, uh, narcissism. Uh, this is Second uh, Timothy chapter three verse one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural um, affection, truce breakers, false accusers. <laughs> what does it sound like? <laughs> false accusers. In content, in content, happens in the second chapter, cannot be satisfied. Uh, Fierce, despisers of those that are good. Hey, but um, e Esau has a whole society like that. Yeah. This whole vibration is on the city, man. This whole vibration is on those, those characteristics right there, man. Right. Is, 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 is uh, uh, two thirds of our own people and, 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 and the other nations, man. All these people are having this whole uh, characteristics right there that we're reading right now, mm -hmm. you know? It's been headed by Esau, man. Yeah, yeah, because what I think there's a scripture somewhere where it says um, uh, the way that the king is, so shall the people be. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You right. have a righteous king, you're gonna have a righteous kingdom. You have a wicked king, you're gonna have a wicked kingdom. Mm -hmm. So it says, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than um, lovers of the Most High. Right, and yeah. that's what they are, are, are cause it to be right now in this society, man. Yeah. You know, this is why um, our people don't want to turn to the Lord, man. Yeah. Why? It's because they, they, they have pleasure in, in, in doing wickedness, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. When we listen to this, to this uh, uh, pastor in a moment, you know, uh, th th these are the things that Christianity upheld, man. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, more, more, more so things to the flesh than, than the spirit, man. Right. Or, or yeah. lies into the truth. Right. When, 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 the, when the truth is in the book, but he's, he's, he's meanwhile trying to give you references on other books right. to go into. Right. He, right. he had references to go into other books, though, but you, he never really truly answered the questions that, that he posed forward, though, and showing you that, that followers of Christianity don't know anything, man. They, mm -hmm. they, they don't read, they don't read, they don't study, 
Okay, the spirit is not dealing with them, man. Yeah. You know? Two, two more verses. It says, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, um, from such turn away. That, and that's that's Christianity right there in a nutshell. <laughs> that's Christianity right there in a nutshell, man. Right. You yeah. know? Yeah. You know, they love to say how they love the Lord with their mouth, man, but their heart is far from them, man. Right. Right. And we, and when you look at it, we really the only reason he actually studying the Bible. Right, right. You know, right. you got to ask, you got to look into what we're talking about. Right. So you don't get confounded. Now you got to study it for yourself. Yeah. And then you got to change it up. Mm -hmm. and, and he's taking up the show while you're doing yeah. it. He's, lo he's looking for infractions. Mm -hmm. That's not in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So, so he, he's like, like, uh, what was the, uh, Ten, ten, 10 questions to how to approach a Hebrew yeah, Israelite. Right, right, mm -hmm. right, right, like, come right. on, like you're looking for something to come against. So you're not even coming in a sincere spirit. Right. That's, mm -hmm. that's strike. You're not, you're, you're, right. not, you're coming in strike. Yeah. Hebrew is the, it, it, You know what I'm saying? You, you, you're you looking for a problem. Mm -hmm. And he's off the leash, man. Like our brothers went into, you know, the Soko White man, he was teaching our people how to uh, teach us the Bible, man. Mm. Y'all don't say niggas, man. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck out of here, man. You're a clown. It's yeah. like, it's, it's, like a, it's a book full of solutions, but you're looking for a problem. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. How, how does that work? <laughs> you're the problem. Oh, my God. You're the problem. That's, the, um, that's why the Yahweh Shah said, no one's lost for the son of perdition. That's it. <laughs> you know? Um, problem child. Problem child. <laughs> it says, for this, for of this sort, they are which creep into houses and lead captive silly women mm. laden with sins, led away with Ooh. diverse lusts, mm. ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. <laughs> That's Damn. a church. Let me hear an example. Yeah. Yeah. Never learned. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's a church right there. That's a church. Right there. Yeah. Silly women laden with sin, man. Yeah. You know? That's 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 the church right there, the black church. Mm. The black church. That's the black church for you, man. Yeah. this church. You know? <laughs> black you know? Uh, I got one more on this so I'm an article real quick. Um, back in here it says, um, keep in mind that at the core of a narcissist is crippling low self-esteem. That's one of the reasons he's low among the heathen. They will do anything possible to not just build themselves up, but also put others down. Right. That's exactly what they're doing with Jake. us. Jake. They're building themselves up while putting us down at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and what uh, it said in the, uh, was the Isaiah 10, uh, yeah, Isaiah 10, uh, that he conquered all of the nations, you know what I'm saying? Like a valiant man, he put yeah. all of them down, yeah. and he robbed all of them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Building himself up while putting everybody else down, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It says, when a narcissist partner whether it be romantic, familiar, or business partner, is seen as asserting themselves or gaining power, the narcissist will respond negatively. Hence, but now, when you look at it, any time when Jake tried to attain any type of power within the society, what happened? Mm -hmm. Black Wall Street. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What happened? Even though Black Panthers was some infiltrated bullshit, but you know what I mean, what happened? Anytime Jake tried to set up some type of movement, well, or, or, or any and, type of gathering, the, they would shut it down. In Philly, it was called the move. They dropped. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah from yeah. the helicopters and shit, yeah, fire yeah. on them mm -hmm. and destroyed that whole neighborhood. Yeah, that's because they see. Oh, they gaining power. Nah, I gotta knock that down. That can't be. You know what I'm saying? So this is all a part of the the story of the narcissist history and our history. It says, um, narcissist. Uh, are incredibly sensitive to criticism <laughs> and any indication they are slipping and, and any indication they are slipping in importance. They always want to be the top dog. Now, what happens anytime we, uh, uh, them, them celebrities criticize the so-called Jews? They mm. can't handle criticism. So they, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nick Cannon. Right. Shut down Wild and Out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, football player. What's his name? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and what just happened to the basketball player uh uh for the Miami Heat the center. I forgot his name that fast or whatever. Myers Leonard. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He just said something about a about a you know, I don't want to say because I don't right, right, right. mess around with it, but he said a slur towards so called Jews. Mm. I mean, now he out of there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anytime yeah. you say something about them, they can't accept no form of criticism. Right. Mm -hmm. and, they're insecure. Yeah. That's what is they, they, they're the liar, they're the devil that the Bible speaks of. So when you start speaking truth, mm -hmm. it's like shining the light, you know, when it's a bunch of roaches around. Yeah. They all start running and scattering, don't know what to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
And that's what the, uh, Isaiah 20, 29, where it says that they have made lives their refuge. Mm. Yeah, you know, man. Israel, you know, Israel, that was the main culprit. But, you know, Esau, which today is over Israel, they, they have made lives their refuge. So, so now, now, when now, when the, now, when those lies are here, is a refuge is one who's safe, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, mm. here it is. When your lies are exposed, you're no longer safe. You're in danger. You're in danger. Mm. You're insecure now. Right. Mm. So, paranoid. What's the alternative? Come up against those men who's interrupting my safety. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's interrupting my agenda? Raise war, you know, against against those who know of the truth before. We be devoured. Snatch their videos yeah. while it's unlisted. It's not right. even to the public yet. Crazy, yeah. <laughs> Snatch their videos while it's unlisted. It's so nobody can hear this truth and right. information. Right. So I can remain secure. Right. 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 Shit's Come crazy, on, y'all. Yeah. Time this, is up. I'm going to mm -hmm. read this uh, last little part here. Let me get going with that. Um, it says, uh, they feel entitled to power, status, and whatever they deem necessary. Anything they deem necessary, what? Because they get this. The sword. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? It says money, attention, right. gifts, advancements, etc. Hence why they set up the, the biblical destruction group right. and, and, and different uh uh schools and different people set in place, like at libraries, they put all these different people in position to have their advancement going according to their agenda. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and to add to that, because like even with the Bible destruction group, mm -hmm. it is they took the apocrypha out of the sixteen eleven. Exactly. It is, you got 144 pieces in the puzzle. Mm. But you're going to take away 44 pieces. You left with 100. How do you expect to finish that puzzle? Right. Mm -hmm. exactly. You can't. Yeah. Exactly. That's why you don't get yeah. it. And, and that, that's right, why they got to rewrite those 44 That's why they got to rewrite those 44 pieces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and that's why, you know, it spooks the hell out of them that we got this knowledge now and put the pieces together right. because mm -hmm. now they have to think about the Most High. Right. They have to mm -hmm. think about Yahweh Shai. Yep. They, the scriptures say uh, he's not in all their thoughts. Mm -hmm. So it, it's dreadful. The, the scriptures say the name of the Lord is dreadful among the heathen. Right. Mm -hmm. So to really think about the right side of a power that knowing damn well he know everything that you're doing and you know that he's threatening you and he's going to come and, and destroy everything you have nightmares and you may have a ritual service and then he mm -hmm. intervene in your witchcraft because he controls witchcraft mm -hmm. and it's like no way mm -hmm. no way we we have to rewrite the script yeah. <laughs> i got a quick one going we on. are esau we deserve the birthright it's ours this isn't mm -hmm. fair this isn't fair <laughs> Wait, quick one. This is all uh, Revelation 12 and 4. And it's tell Drew the third part of the stars of heaven, mm. and they cast into the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Mm -hmm. You know, going into what? Um was that Matthew 2 when Herod, Herod yeah. um wanted to take out Yahweh shot, man, because he knew that he was gonna take, you know, he knew he was gonna take his shot. Well, yeah, you know, yeah, yep, yep. And, and yeah, he, like he, like y'all shot. He's the deliverer. You know, he was gonna deliver our people out out of out of right. Edom's oppression. And she brought forth a child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God and His throne. Yeah, you know, the twelve stars is Israel. Yeah, yeah. So Herod was attempting to uh, uh, rewrite the history. Mm -hmm. He said, "Nah, I don't want this going down like this." Yep. Right. It can't. It can't yeah. happen. Search a one of them right. little two year old bastards and kill them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He he tried to stop prophecy. prophecy. Right. You know, yeah. fucking Esau. He ain't new to stopping prophecy. Yeah. You know, was striving to stop prophecy. Hey, hey, but, but he was never what? successful. But guess what? Even if you're not successful, there's still judgment on the temps. Mm -hmm. mm. There's still right. judgment on the temps. Mm. Mm. You got people attempted murder. Attempted murder. <laughs> You attempted. You attempted. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, he attempted. Uh -huh. Ooh, yeah. Shall I reap what you sow? Shall I reap what you sow? You tried it. You tried it. <laughs> oh, now I looked up. What, what also happens, um, what happens if you receive stolen property, man? Mm. And uh that's like six twenty one. Yeah, I believe that that's like a that's like a felony, man, according to Esau. Mm -hmm. So did you yeah. you saw quite people right here? Did you not receive stolen property? In your hand. They often had that with stolen cars, man. <laughs> I got, that's all uh, Exodus 21 and 16. Exactly. He that steals a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. Mm -hmm. In a, a, uh, Zechariah 5th chapter, uh, he said, The chariots are the curse that go forth the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. But every one that stilleth 
on this yeah. side and everyone yeah. that swears yeah. on this yeah. side according to it. Mm-hmm. You know? And we're yeah. found in his hands. Exactly, exactly. We ain't gotta physically have the how had the chains on, but what? Through your narcissistic ways, your manipulation, we are still slaves as people say until this day. Okay, it says uh Yep. It says in addition to any fine, a person convicted of receiving stolen property often has to pay restitution. Mm. Ooh, restitution ooh. is the money you pay to the legal owners <laughs> of the stolen goods to compensate them <laughs> for their loss. Uh, oh, it's good to say, script, slap it. The script to say that they, they shall restore their goods. You know? Yeah. You know? Uh-huh. Everything that you have, everything you stored up for the last days, man, you have to have that, uh, 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 it belongs to the Israelites, man. You know? You're going to uh, uh, vomit it back up. That's what the scriptures say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to find the scripture uh, where the scriptures say uh, he will not let thee go. Um, he he will, he will let you go. Is that 5033? Is it? Hey, uh, no, yeah, 5033. Isaiah? No, Jeremiah. I believe that's Jeremiah. Hey, real quick, okay. real quick. This is um, uh, Joel 20 and you know, 18. That which he labored for shall he restore mm-hmm. and shall not swallow it down mm-hmm. according to his substance shall the restitution be mm-hmm. and he mm-hmm. shall not rejoice therein mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. that's why he hates us <laughs> see because because edom has big dreams mm-hmm. what's that term you like to use the caviar joint uh, 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 oh oh uh, 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 <laughs> cap- caviar dreams on the tuna fish budget <laughs> <laughs> You know, you can't afford the kingdom. Yeah. You can't afford eternity. Yeah. You know, it's not in your price range. Mm-hmm. You know, you're seven foot on a four foot bed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to overstay your welcome. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so the heavenly Father got it to where you're going to cough up riches. You know, you're going to vomit them up because why? You can't even handle it. Right. You wouldn't be able to handle it. It's not meant for you. You're not going to be able to handle what's not meant for you. Mm. Yeah. And, and you know, you just said they they hate us, but here we are. You know, it's words. We, we're, right. we're having a forum and just prophesizing through the scriptures with with the Bible. Right. Yeah. And uh, reason why he hate us. This is a, a quick precept, straight to the point. Wisdom of Solomon two and three, two and thirteen. He professes to have the knowledge of God. And he calleth himself the child of the Lord. Right. He was made to reprove our thoughts. That's, right. That's, right. <laughs> That's why he hates so much. Correcting. Yeah. Breaking them bones, man. His words is breaking them bones. You talk about sticks and stones, we break your bones, <laughs> but words will never hurt you, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. You gotta hate him. Oh, it was good. Yeah. Huh? I thought the oh. bones was messed up. Oh shit! But but even in that, the Lord said, "I will destroy him with the spirit of my mouth." Mm-hmm. How can one be destroyed by words? Yeah, and it's the truth. He said, "It only hurts." Uh, look, man. Yeah, look, say, if you got a funny head, <laughs> not say you got a funny head, it's gonna hurt <laughs> because it's true. Mm-hmm. You in the mirror looking at your head, that shit's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like crack away. You gonna be upset. That's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> No, they had said that about your house shot. They said, uh, they said for good works persecute uh, you not, but because you say you are the son of the most high. So words, you know what I'm saying? Words. It hurt. Yeah, words uh, words do hurt. Only when it's true. I got a yeah. 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 uh, Two words. Here. Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 14. Wherefore, we're we're for thus saith Wherefore thus saith the Lord of the power power of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words Ooh. in thy mouth fire, Ooh. and this people would, Ooh. and it shall devour them. Hey, because say, because Esau, they, he created a whole, he created a whole doctrine for the whole world to put, uh, to put them, that take the same book, okay, and, and create a, a whole doctrine behind it, man, right. and a whole uh, uh, synopsis on what it is, and then, you know, you, you basically, they learn like you can't come. This guy right here on the screen that we're gonna about to play, you know, people like him and followers like him, man, they on that that Sunday school level, man. Mm-hmm. Okay, you can't you can't come up against us, man, with this word, man. Mm-hmm. You know, okay. We um here it is. You got all of these of these black power movements and everything, and people are talking about oppression and stuff like that. But we're, we're talking about the same thing. But the only thing different with us is that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we have this book, and we're able to uh, uh, through the spirit of of Yahweh Shai, 
we, the book is uh, is um is not sealed, man. You know, the book is open to the, to the prophets. So we basically are, are reading your judgment, man. Okay, and, and it's cutting to the heart. You see, this whole book that they spent so much money in in in, in doctrine and 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 agents that they sent out to uh, uh uh create this whole illusion that everybody's supposed to be inclusive to 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 the promises, man. And it's not true. Right. So here it is now that you come and face to face with us, okay? Because this is uh, uh, knocking on the doors of, of, the, of the gates of the noble, man. You know. So here it is now. This this word is is is, is like wildfire, and they're trying to put this put it out, and you can't put it out, man. You know, it, it, it's too late. And it, well, even when the fire seems to sort of go out, when the prophets is not able to teach anymore. Then the real physical fire is coming, right? Because exactly. right now this is the spiritual fire, you know. Yep. You know, from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. You you want to uh, want a video? <clears throat> All right, so you're gonna play this video here. Oh, okay. Well, like you still eat Big Macs. <laughs> yeah. First and foremost, this is important for us to think about scriptures. Listen to me, of the ethnic composition of. That vocab, Bob. We know yeah. that He's in the, the Bible one. there were several times like Israel engrafted other people. And this is helpful for us to understand that from the beginning God has had a heart for all nations, tribes, and tongues. And well, in fact, Psalm 67 hey. tells us that, that you don't even Israel, understand that. You don't even understand that. Oh, see, went off already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Yeah, 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 we got to stop. Oh, okay. <laughs> go point, right? just, yeah, yeah, just that first little minute of so All right. so, yeah. lights are to be a light oh, to the nations yeah, that they may know hmm? the glory so of God. Know? When we read no, Revelations, no, no, we understand so that it will be all but tribes, yeah, nations, and tongues that, that believe in so Jesus Christ. Zechariah 2, verse 11 tells us, And many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day, and shall be my people. And I will dwell in the midst of thee, and thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts has sent me. Even as early as Exodus, we see this mixed multitude who believe in Yahweh. That's Exodus 12, yeah. verses 37 through 38. Because, like, like the, the, the thing is, right, <clears throat> we know that the Bible is like the puzzle. We know that the scriptures say precept must be upon precept. Line upon line, a little here, a little there. But you, the Lord, have to give you the spirit of discernment to be able to put the pieces to the puzzle together correctly. You could be trying to force a piece in there, like, yo, this gotta go in, but it's just not going. Yeah. And that's exactly what he's trying to do because he's skipping over key and important uh, uh, information. Uh, somebody go to Deuteronomy 32 and, and 7, because what was the first statement that he made? That the uh, the nations, the Lord gave the nation for everybody. Uh, for everybody, yeah. For everybody. Yeah, yeah. Then, then what, Isaiah 40 and uh, what's that, 13 through 15 or 15 through 17? Deuteronomy. Yeah. Deuteronomy 32 and 7. Uh -huh. Remember the days of old, consider the, ye consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father and he will shew thee thy elders and they will tell thee mm -hmm. when the most high divided the nations their mm -hmm. inheritance when he separated the sons of Adam mm -hmm. he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children so, of Israel so what will be the purpose of the Lord separating these different nations then Deuteronomy 7 and 6 tells us that thou art a special people above all upon the face of the earth mm -hmm. To be special, to be separated, to be cons we consecrated unto the Lord. Mm. That means we're separate. Mm. That means the Lord has a favorite. Mm -hmm. That means we're not all equal. That means the Lord doesn't love all of us the same. If you want to say that the Lord loves all nations, and he doesn't, and we're going to prove that. Mm. And add to uh, Malachi 3 and 6 goes to how he doesn't change. Mm. Exactly. So it's so that he's a separatist, and then he says he doesn't change. Mm. So it's as simple as it's as simple as that, man. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, real quick, quick precept. Isaiah 40 and 17. Uh -huh. It's well, let uh, start at 15. It says, Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up he taketh up the owls as a very little thing. Mm -hmm. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a mm. burnt offering. Mm. All nations before him 
are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. Now, they would take that and say, well, you said all nations. No, <laughs> he's speaking to those other heathen nations, man. Because it's clear throughout the whole scriptures from the Old Testament to the Apocrypha to the New Testament that the Lord is all about Israel, man. You know what I mean? And if you kind of as a dust on a scale, hey, you know, I be having a lot of herbs, not legal stuff, but, you know, physical herbs and stuff. You know what I mean? Sometimes, hey, you pour it into a bag, hey, you might spill a little bit. Huh? Whatever. Right, right, right. I ain't worried about that shit. Right, right. You know what I mean? I ain't right, worried right. about that. They, they ain't affecting the, the, the weight that I'm giving the bag to give to the customer. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. It don't matter. And you got a lot more. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, real quick, just to quote, uh, break, read the scripture you quoted, Deuteronomy 7 and 5. But thus shall ye deal with them. So like, yeah, let me start at 6. It says, For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. It says, Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. It says, Yahweh did not set his love upon you nor chose you because ye were more than more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. But because Yahweh loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers, have Yahweh brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house the house of bondmen and from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Sure. So just to show you, the Lord is not um contradicting itself neither we read deuteronomy we read isaiah all right the lord made israel a special people he's chosen us so when you go back to isaiah you know that he's not talking about israel he's talking about these other nations man mm -hmm. hey, back in isaiah 2 we i would mention uh in the cedars of lebanon all the beasts of the um cedars of lebanon isn't sufficient as well for a sacrifice and here it is when you look like in the old testament sometimes the lord would want to a bullock for a sacrifice for us, man. One bullock, and now, we'll, and now we'll make for a sin offering, man, for an atonement from an Israelite. Yeah. But then here it is: the Lord said, if you take all the beasts of the whole force of Lebanon as a heathen and try and sacrifice all those beasts to the Lord, that still wouldn't even do, man. So the Lord is telling you that He don't mess with y'all, man. In Amos the third chapter, it says that out of all families of the earth, the Lord only known us. Mm -hmm. Once again, the scriptures say how he doesn't change, man. Mm -hmm. So you can't merge these heathens into this, you know, as bad as you're trying to. Mm -hmm. Pretty much your role is y'all are going to be a, a, a servants unto us in the kingdom of heaven, man, for a thousand years. And y'all going to get it like they said in that RDC mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. However y'all treated us in the 15, 1600, that's how we're going to treat y'all. You know, he said, hey, you, you said it, not me. Okay. So and then ultimately, man, after that thousand years. Y'all gonna go into y'all lane. Y'all still gonna pay us tribute. But you heathens, y'all ain't going nowhere, man, except for uh, getting burnt off, man. And that's all according to scriptures. Hey, and, and the thing was, and then the last scripture I think he pulled was in Zechariah to try to give a justification of how all the nations is gonna be with the Lord. Right. Well, this one scripture here in Zechariah overrides what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Their flesh shall consume away while I sit upon their feet, their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from the Lord shall be among them, and they shall lay hold every one of the hand of his neighbor, and his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. And Judah also shall fight at Jerusalem, and the wealth of all the heathen, which is what a non-Israelite people usually, most of the times, right, mm -hmm. depending on the context, round about shall be gathered together, gold and silver and apparel and in great abundance. So, hey, we taking everything from the other nations. We already showed you that the Lord, being that separatist, separating the nations, how we are holy, we are consecrated unto the Lord. And at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, we are going to go up against all heathen nations and reclaim everything that once was ours, that belonged to us, that belonged to Yahweh by Shemai man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, when you go into, um, break me if I'm wrong, but 
in, in the Old Testament, it speaks about like, um, you know, how we, uh, the strangers would be amongst us, but that's, that's talking about Israel too, because when you go into that word stranger, Isaiah, for, it, uh, Isaiah uh -huh, 14, Isaiah 14, yeah. that's talking about um, Israel too, because that word means Gar, which Gar goes back to Moses' son who was born in the, um, in the stranger's land, which his name was Gershon, you know? Yeah, and plus also they'll cleave unto the house of Israel, you know, mm -hmm. so like the other nations aren't going to cleave unto the house of Israel, they have their own God, you know, they were never with it. But I got a couple scriptures, this is Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 21, and say unto them, thus saith the Lord power, behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whither they be gone, and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land, and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all, and they shall no more um, shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. So you got to keep that narrative in mind. That's future prophecy that has yet to come to pass. All right, it's always about the sons of Israel. All right, being scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, the Lord gathering them back and then making them one nation again. All right, as written in uh, Isaiah the eleventh chapter, and I'll get to the point, verse twelve. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations. And that word in, in the Hebrew for nations is Gawayah, all right, which just means nations, all right? So when it's talking about, whether it's talking about, he, you know, these, these, these Christians, man, they always want to talk about context, which the word context means uh, with text, precept upon precept, line upon line. They'll, say, they'll keep saying, read it in the context, okay? But, what, but, uh, 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 uh so I And I lost my train of thought. I'll read it again, though. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations. Right, right, right. They want to say that the nations uh, means uh, 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 everybody, but, you know, it only applies, it, it applies to whether it accompanies salvation or damnation, man. You know, if it's, if it's, if it's uh, salvation, it's for the Israelites, all right? So it says, they shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the disperse of Judah from among the four corners of the earth, man. Mm -hmm. So that's the true. That's the true context going throughout the, um, the, the throughout the entire scripture. Every scripture that we're bringing out, all right, uh, meets hand in hand with each other. These scriptures that we just brought out doesn't meet hand in hand with what he's saying about how the Lord uh, loves all the nations. That's not true, man. Uh, I think that's the point there. What did you say? Yeah. Yeah. Look at the sun. Right. Say, and the children of Israel journeyed from the the uh, this land about six hundred thousand on foot that were men besides children, and a mixed multitude went up also with them. Right, and that's Romans about women two, and children. verses twenty-eight. <laughs> right, they were talking about the men in this, uh, um, uh, the men. They, they counted the number of men that was uh, marching out of Israel, I mean, out of Egypt, true. right? That was Egypt? Yeah, it was Egypt in Exodus 12. That, that's what it's talking about. Where's he reading from? I think it was Exodus 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes most of two, but some, some of them was those. They uh, were, yeah, but they were other, mm -hmm. they, they, but like I said, they were other, um, they, they weren't counted as Israelites, though. Yeah, yeah, I mean, most of them drowned any goddamn way, you know what I'm saying? So. Okay, no. Come, we'll play the video. 29 tells us, For he is not a Jew, which is one out outwardly, neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh, but he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is of the heart, and the spirit, and not in the letter. <laughs> 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 Trading camp. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, and circumcision uh, is of the heart. Highly recommend two books for you to you understand so believe the composition of I'm sorry yo <laughs> this rose me like vocal vocab vibration bro <laughs> he's like yo he's trying so hard yo and then too you can tell they never pan the camera to see if there's really an audience <laughs> there's probably no audience there yeah nobody's clapping That's you know he's nice. just sitting in front of a camera and he got you know in a podium somewhere in a, in a church and it looks like he's talking to the choir and he ain't talking to nobody. nobody and then he disabled the comments you know, so why we, we don't just say why comments? He's talking yeah. yeah, roasted on them comments. Yeah, because he, he, he don't want the backlash. He want to talk his shit, but he don't want nobody to uh in the counter what he's talking about. Yeah, so, that, that shit ain't gonna work. Hey, he's supposed to be a shepherd though, right? 
Uh, he, 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 he may be one with a ball head questions. and no beard. They may be want to ask questions on yeah. the comic board. Yeah, he's a shepherd with a ball head and no beard. Yeah, I got a, I got a free set. Bible for y'all. Um, this is this is Saint John chapter eleven. I'm gonna start at um, I'm gonna start at uh verse forty six. It says um, I start at verse forty five. It says then many of the Jews which came to Mary. And had seen the things which Yahweh did, believed on him. But some of but some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what things Yahweh had done. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees in council and said, What do we? But this man doeth many miracles. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him. Mm -hmm. And the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. So this guy is pretty much set up. You know, to attempt to prevent people from believing on us. You know, so you got to set a fall guy in place, you know, to try to control the narrative, to sway the people to not believe on the truth that we speak. You know what I'm saying? Because the truth that we speak represents Yahweh Shai. They hated Yahweh Shai back then, and they hate Yahweh Shai now. Right? So, uh, read, you know, and it says, And one of them named Caiaphas, being the high priest that same year, said unto them, Ye know nothing at all. He don't know nothing at all. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's just set up. Right? But Caiaphas has some type of understanding of who Yahweh Shai was and is. It says, nor considering that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people and that the whole nation perish not. And this spake he not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Yahweh Shai should die for that nation. And that's another thing in Christianity. They think that the Lord came for the world when he came only for his people that's like if you use logic today if if, if someone comes because who's on the bottom the uh blacks and latinos you know the israelites all right the the, when, the ones they call minorities we're catching the most hell shot dead in the street low poverty urban rural, rural uh communities whatever you want to call it so if a man came today and he came for us right and he laid his life down for the, uh, if he if he was gonna lay his life down, why would he be trying to save the world? Wouldn't he be trying to save his people that's on the bottom? Why would he care for the rest? Right. So they try to make Yahweh Shai as if uh, they call you know they as if he was for everybody. He didn't die for everybody. He died for his people, man. <laughs> like, yeah. It's so common sense. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody gonna come and die for the world to be better. All right, the world in which they don't understand that when it goes into the word world is, is cosmos, man. You know, John 3.16 is cosmos, a, 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 a world within a world, man. Right. A society, man. You know, Israel is this world of its own already, you know. Just like you got the fish world, you got the animal world, you're talking about a world within the world. You're not talking about the whole entire world, man. But anyway, I got a quick preset. This is Psalm 78 and 5. It says, For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. So what would be the purpose of us, you know, making it known to our children of the law, statutes, and commandments and, you know, letting our children know that we're the Israelites and the Most High is our power. He's with us and not with the other nations. Then the Lord turned around and opened it up for everybody. So what good is Israel? Mm. You know, right. what good is it? We, if, the, if that's the case, the Most High become a liar because he changed. Mm -hmm. When the scriptures say he changed not and Jacob's not consumed, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, the scriptures tell us why we went into captivity. It tells us that while we're in captivity, we're going to be delivered out of captivity. He says we're going to discontinue from our inheritance and we showing up dead. Now we're receiving our inheritance, but first it starts with the spirit of knowing you know, who we are. And eventually when that brightness of the Lord come, that's when the inheritance is going to come within our uh, our grasp, man, within our hands, where we're able to, to live it. Right now, we got to live it through the spirit. We got to believe and wait for you, Howard Shot, man. You know? I got something real quick. This is um, Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel mm -hmm. shall be saved in Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. Ye should not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. Mm -hmm. you know? And that was always the point to where 
We were in captivity. We think the Lord wasn't dealing with us. That's going back to the famous scripture we always bring out in Romans 9. He has said, where has God loved us? Mm -hmm. Did not the Lord, um, what did he say? I have, not, I have hated um, Esau, but I have loved Israel. Right. Because it seemed like we hated. We on the bottom, you know? So we need saved. We, we need to be saved, you know? We need help. Um, I got something. This is uh, Luke 1 and 68. Let's be the Lord power of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people and had raised up in horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Can't get around that. <laughs> Can't get around that. Right? To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. The oath which he swore unto our father, Abraham, that he would grant us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Mm -hmm. I got some. Acts 13 and 23. It says, Of this man's seed hath the Most High, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a Savior. I read it again. It says, mm -hmm. Of this man's seed hath the Most High, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a Savior. So who needs to be saved? The Israelites. This world don't need to be saved. This world need to be destroyed. Yeah. All right. And the elect that are crying out need to be saved, which is Israel. You know? Yeah. It says Yahweh Shai, who were in the called Jesus, says, When John had first preached before his coming the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. Mm. Yeah, another thing too, you know, this guy, he was tapping on the uh, Israelite farmers, you know, because they confused with that, you know. Brother had brought it out a little bit earlier, how you go into the word stranger goes back to God. So I'll just read it real quick, Isaiah 14 and 1. For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob, see, Jacob, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, and the stranger shall be, shall be joint with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And that's why it's important as our apostles, teachers, and elders go into those words. You know, look it up. What the stranger mean? You know, when you go into it, uh, the word there is God. And as brother May mentioned earlier about Moses, you know, Moses' uh, uh, son was named what? Gershom. All right. So anyway, uh, uh, it says, verse 2, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. So that sounds like the Israelites receiving the kingdom and becoming superior over the ones that had them in captivity. You know, and that's what these devils fear. So they set up guys like this, you know, and it's a lot, it's a lot more of them. But their argument is weak. You got to turn off your own comment board. You got to do a show and act like you, you know, you probably rent out this church. Nobody in there. And you got to fake it for the, for the, for the tube and make it seem like you a big person. You know, I've never heard of this guy. Maybe he do carry service. Well, who cares? The man has a bald head and he has no beard. And a baggy suit. So you can't even talk about the Bible. You're a grown ass man, you know, with no a bald head and no beard. You gotta start with the law first. Yeah, 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 right. You gotta come with a beard on your face. I think Vocab started growing his beard at one point. Yeah. You know, because they don't look right. Yeah, hey, 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 common sense tell you when you watch these shows, right? You watch these Netflix movie series and they talk about the Bible, they can't make the Bible or let's say they can't reenact scenes or the scriptures without the men having beards on their face right. it won't be yeah. 
Authentic. Authentic. Or, you know, to look like. Right. At least look the part. Yeah. Like, if you want to set up these bozos to combat the truth, mm -hmm. at least look the part. That's where it, right. that's where it starts. At least look the part. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, 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 when it comes to these agents, right? Mm -hmm. The scriptures say, speak upon how they feigned themselves just men. Right. They look the part. Right. You know what I'm saying? At least it's making it a little bit hard for us. Come yeah. on. Right. <laughs> yeah. He's a suit, suit and tie nigga. Yeah. Right. I'll tell you this. So called Jesus wasn't, he wasn't wearing no suit and tie, man. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. In Revelation, it said he wore a garment down to the foot. Right. right. You got on a suit and tie with no right. hair on your head. You a clown, man. Yeah. Yeah. Look, 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 look like a Roman. Yeah. yeah. You know? Because, 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 again, that's him, him bumping <laughs> in the scriptures. Yeah. You know, you're reading this and thinking everybody's included. You don't know the backstory. Right. You don't go to go to the history. Right. Who was who was who was the people? Um, Israel's enemies at that time. Right. The yeah. Roman Empire. Right. Why was why was John cast into prison? Right. For the word's sake, man. By the Roman Empire. And uh, oh. uh, uh, not to cut you off, uh, but another thing too, if you if you understand the um, you understand how it used to be back then, you would know that we were separated by our nationality. Mm -hmm. We wasn't all together, crammed up, you know, and it's like you call today Babylon, America. We wasn't crammed up and under a system like this, mm -hmm. even though the system was in play, but it wasn't like today. Right. So back then, everybody was off with their own nationality. Right. You was with your people. That's it. You had a land, you was in the land of your people. Right. Yeah. You know, right. they keep right. miss, they keep trying to take this American thing that we all live in on one block, white person down there, black people up there. We all go to the same church on yeah. Sunday. And it was not like that back then. Right, right. So stop acting like it is, man. Right. You know? That's, that's, that, yeah. whole, that's that whole Western uh, 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 mentality. Yeah. You cannot understand the Bible with the, with the Western mentality. Man, right. Because that's not, it's not built that way. Yep. You know? Like you know? And, 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 it's, and, and we could throw out a, a two-part question to you Christians, man. Because you don't understand the, the scriptures. You don't understand backstory. Why, why, was, why was Herod trying to kill who you achingly called Ooh. Jesus Christ when he was born? Right. You know? Ooh. Why was he trying to do that? And, and the second part of that question is, is that spirit still on the earth today? Right. Of, of, of trying to, to, to kill the, 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 the savior of Israel, man. So, so, so who they call Jesus Christ died for Hagar? Uh, 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 excuse me. Herod, yeah. Herod, yeah. He died for Herod now? Right. <laughs> why kill him? Yeah. You know he was what? coming to save you. He was coming, coming to you. save you. Why? Yeah. Why? That's what they're doing. <laughs> the, two, the two guys who the outside got it out for uh, Revelation 1 and 4, Dirt. who's still in his thoughts. Oh, sorry, 1, one and 7. seven. Yeah. It says, uh, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. Mm -hmm. Now, why did he mark them? Them, them two guys, man. Mm -hmm. He's coming to save Because he still, he still got it out. He still ain't forget about that, man. But you saying that he, he died for them too. But here it is. He's ready to tear their ass up as soon as the Lord give them the word, man. Hey, that's like somebody kicking you when you down. It's like, here it is. You down on the ground. You're already out for the count. And then he come over there and get his two cent in. Mm -hmm. Like, what reason for right. that, you fucking nigga? Right. Why you had to poke him on the side? For what? He done. He going. Right. You know? Right. What you damaging the body for? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Just let it be. Right, right. Hater. Yeah, hating. Doing too much. Christians don't know what you trying to come up there. You come up there. You come up there. Come up to us, the prophets. You come up there to the to the men, Lord, man. Come, come with your come with your Bible, okay? And, 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 and when we call up the scriptures, we call these scriptures out. Don't don't start looking in the back towards the back of the book to find out where that scripture is or find out where that book is. We don't want you looking at uh, to, where where Revelations would be at for, yeah. for the book of Isaiah. See, it's not it's not it's not even a genuine uh you know not to keep going on, but I know you wanna wrap it up, right? Yeah, yeah but yeah. but um it's not even genuine when they come and they approach and ask questions. It's not to get understanding. They come with some type of uh agenda. Uh, uh, agenda or some type of tactic. They train in a tactic form. We out there in the spirit. You come up, we deal with you how we deal according to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. You know, and we bring out the scriptures and we just only speak only on behind the scriptures, what the scriptures say. Right. So they come with this curve where you know you have to be aware of what they're doing and their setups because they got a crafty, uh, a clever way of trying to tie you. Because even I don't want to speak on that devil, that fucking demon, you know, mm -hmm. but y'all know I'm talking about. 
his tactic was just to scream. It was just to be louder than you. Emotional. He really was lost. He ain't had shit. But he had just over talk you and then hopefully he he capture on his side with his camera and put it on his channel and make it seem like he was cutting you up. Yeah. Right. He won't put the whole video to where he was confounded and he was shut up for a second. Cause you shut him up and then he won't show where he had to do a double take mm -hmm. and kind of change the subject to go back mm -hmm. his way. Mm -hmm. But we see it. You know? So, you know, they fucking demons that set up, man. Lord got y'all, man. Yeah, because they say when you enter into a discussion, you're supposed to enter it on good faith. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like how you said, like, we just teach. It's really no other agenda besides helping you to get that understanding. So when you have two opposing sides, it's not to just argue. It's to try to come to some sort of understanding. Right. Like, convince the game thing. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. And we could, hey, scripture, scripture, you know, bring us... You got to, if you believe, you claim you believe in the Bible, you got to believe in the scriptures. Yeah. Yeah, if you go on believing in something, anyway, it's not mine. And, and, and the whole thing with these Christians is, is the difference between, uh, uh, like Brother boarded out, uh, um, obje uh, objective and subjective. And when, you, when, you, when you're coming in a subjective type of point of view, which these Christians come in, right, it says subjective, right? It's based on, based on or influenced by personal feelings taste or opinions you know what i'm saying right right yeah, that's based upon right and says his views are highly subject subjective so they come in in a subjective type of uh, uh, uh manner right but we come in an objective mm -hmm. an objective is of a person on their judgment not influenced by personal feelings Woo. or opinions and considering and representing facts. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Objective and subjective. Yeah. Damn. So, so that's that's the difference between what 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 we come in. We come in in an objective point of view, and they come in in a subjective point of view, which, which is based off of feelings, man. You know, based off of what you, what's feelings and what you learn when, when, when since you you try to come up, come with a doctrine that you learned when you was ten years old. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna hold up. It's not gonna hold up though, because you don't know. The, the, the scriptures say that the uh, now is the, the true uh, 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 prophet, the true men shall uh, 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 worship the, the Father in, in sincerity and truth. Roughly See, paraphrasing. Meanwhile, here it is. They just learning a few things from the prophets by studying us, studying the apostles. And now they're trying to get in shape so that they could deal <laughs> with brothers and come with certain things. Because the title of his video is what? Uh, what is it? Ten things to know before engaging Hebrew Israelites? Well, guess what? They too late. Because the fire has been set forth through the Spirit of the Lord. The, 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 the scriptures say this, uh, he shall destroy them with the Spirit of his mouth. So it's through the four corners. You know? And, 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 the, and the right doctrine is being taught. So here they are now, 2021. They want to they wanna study the prophets and they want to come with a certain way. Where they think now, you should have did that 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And maybe it will be a challenge. But it ain't a challenge because you behind the prop, the, the prophecies is, is before, the prophecies is running faster than them. Right. They right. can't catch up to the prophecies. So here they want to try to combat right. this truth and try to come up with clever ways to try to, you know, I guess make us stumble on the word or, or to pervert the gospel, right? Mm -hmm. But prophecies is outrunning them. It, 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 they, they're too late. It's the too prophecies late. have passed them. They're yeah, right. Yeah. They're happening. And, and even mm -hmm. when the, you just said what the brother said about the prophecies, man, we're into the prophecies, man. They're just trying to get the basic type of, you know, we're past uh, understanding. Yeah. We're past that. That's, that's past basic that. one on one stuff. The stuff that you're supposed to be learning about is what you really should have been learning in, in, in what you want to call your Sunday school, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. We're into these prophecies rolling, man. We're, trying, we're, we're looking at the news. We're watching everything, man. You, you people ain't watchers and you're not serious, man. M meanwhile, you know? the, the chip is going to be uh, pushed and forced. Really and, 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 and you want to talk about still trying to talk about the other nations. And, yeah. and the other nations ain't even, like, ain't dealing with the other that, nations so. ain't even checking for you, how yeah. shy. How is the temptation is coming? The other nations ain't even checking for who you want to equally call Jesus Christ. The other nations ain't checking for, for uh, JC. Mm -hmm. They ain't checking for him. Mm -hmm. They're checking for their own gods, man. Yep, yep. And, and, and another thing, man, you coming to us, man. We wow. ain't coming to you. Right. 
Right. Okay? Right. We we got our own plat. We already got our own platform, man. You you people are, are finished and defeated. This guy could be, who for we know he could be in the storage container. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be the back. Yeah. Yeah. Blue screen in the back. He trying to fly on yeah. Eagle's wings, man. That's what it is. He trying to fly on Eagle's wings. And that's a good point, man. You don't see the, 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 Israel, the you don't see the Israelites putting up videos, uh, ten, you know, ten things you need to do um, yeah, you to learn yeah, yeah, you know, before you engage. Before you engage with it, you know, just like the first six months standing on the other side of the camp, you know more than a Christian, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, show, it shows you who has the truth and who right. don't, and, and who's running YouTube. Right. And then look how he got that squirrel in the back like he's trying to hypnotize you. Yeah. Right, right. right. That's like a serpent yeah. or something. Yeah. 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 What the fuck is that? It's a serpent. Yeah. What are you doing, man? Damn, serpent. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Trying to matching the suit. They get the suit. They have the suit yeah. matching it. Yeah. yeah. The white, the white yeah. and the black or whatever. Yeah. They're trying to hypnotize you, what, what they don't realize, K -G, you know, K -G. I know yeah. we're we going to wrap it up, right? Brother, got precepts? I, I know we're doing a lot of talking. But I was going to say this. What these guys don't realize is that that witchcraft and lying is getting thrown out the window. Mm -hmm. What they don't realize is that deception and all that is now falling short. Mm -hmm. It's not the, the top dog anymore. Mm -hmm. It's a, the Lord is raising up righteousness over the wicked. This is why the wicked is being revealed. That's it. That means that the, the, the lying, the deception is on is, is losing. Mm -hmm. nice. And on a spiritual level, if you could level it, and kind of see it if there was a you know some sort of way like a chart mm -hmm. you would see like oh shit they down they down yo they want to come up because yeah. rich righteousness is revealing the lord yahweh bashmael shai is using righteousness to reveal the wicked and their wicked uh uh deeds you know so why would you be on that side and, and you're still you're still not even even recognizing the, the elephant in the room at the end of the day man right. and that recognizing the elephant in the room you know, you still you so hell bent on trying to you worried about losing your congregation to that whole hip, 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 hypnosis type of state that you have them in with that with that false ass doctrine called, called Christianity. You so hell bent on that, but you don't you don't you feel to recognize that the elephant in the room. You feel to recognize how this place is is, is falling apart all around you, man. Mm -hmm. You know, God is for you. Uh, so uh, Revelation chapter twelve verse fifteen, and the serpent cast out. Of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood and the earth helped the woman and the earth opened up her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth mm -hmm. and those those and the lords are quenching a lot of those refugee lives man are being are, are, are quenched man you know we're not we, we don't we're not begging for no attention man we're just putting on turning the camera on 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 youtube and just just doing what, what, what we do, man. You coming onto our platform, man? Right. Trying trying to trying to disrupt what we got going on here, man. We don't you don't see us banging down your door trying to trying to disrupt what you got going on, man. We just we just uh, are blazing that down by, by with the truth. That's it. Mm -hmm. And you know why we're not doing that? Because y'all ain't got nothing going on. You know what I'm saying this is uh, Luke twenty one and fifteen. It says, "For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which your adversary shall not be able to gainsay nor resist." Mm -hmm. You know, so your yeah, efforts are futile at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Here, here it is, you know, the apostles, you know, great millstone to the sincere men all down is undefeated when it comes to debating these scriptures, man. You know, and, and that's because the Lord has it that way. You know, the scriptures speak upon in 1 Corinthians, what's that, 4 and 9, how I shall set up the apostles last. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, the apostles are set up last because why? At the end, it shall speak and not lie. What's going to speak? The prophecies. Who's going to be speaking on your prophecies? The apostles. Mm -hmm. How are you going to debate a bit? How are you going to debate against something that's happening? Mm -hmm. You can't. Right. That's why they don't come against the prophecies. That's why they don't mention prophecies. Because the prophecies line up with the current events. Mm -hmm. You know, the, what, the, what they're attempting to do is distract us from speaking on the prophecies. Right. Because, but even when we engage in conversations like this, the prophecies are still going to get mentioned. So, mm -hmm. your efforts are futile. Futile. Yeah. That's why I have one more verse. So, uh, so like Revelation 12 and 17 it says, And the dragon was wroth with the woman. So he was pissed off. Mm -hmm. Why? Because, like this brother says, when a when lies, uh, well, how I go again? When they hate them work. Yeah, when, a, when they hate them work, they start telling lies. But then when the lies don't work, 
They want to get carnal with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then you want to get violent. That's why I says the dragon was wrong with the woman. Yeah, because your lies ain't working no more. <laughs> and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, <laughs> which kept the Bless commandments you. of the <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. which kept the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Right. right. Which, 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 which that is happening now. But just for edification's sake, back in Revelation twelve and sixteen. When it says the earth helped the woman and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth for the breakdown sake. All right. That goes back where it says um, when the earth helped the woman represents Israel going into the north and west Africa. All right. Fleeing, fleeing Roman persecution just for breakdown sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but then, you know, gets in 17. The dragon was wroth with the woman and went and made war with the remnant of her seed, which kept the commandments of Yahweh. And have the testimony of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, all right, which is now, you know, still to this day, that's what they do, all right, because why wow, we have that testimony. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One last scripture Isaiah 44 and 20, I'm going start at verse 24. Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself, that frustrated the tokens of the liars. And maketh diviners mad, that turneth wise men backward, and maketh their knowledge foolish. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that's essentially what the Heavenly Father does. You know what I'm saying? Because you set up peons like this, you know what I'm saying? It showcases that the diviners are mad, and we make their knowledge foolish because why? We expel the truth. Mm. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why, I was just one thing, I was going to say, that's why we got to hold on and endure all the way to the end, man, because we got the truth. You know, hey, it's gonna be re- it's gonna be revealed before the world. You know, we even ourselves are gonna even be shocked. You know, and amazed that Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai have uh, actually chosen us, man. Hopefully, we of that number. You know, can you imagine? You know, you know, like uh, it's, we got faith, right. but when the Lord is manifesting it fleshly, you know, before your eyes and things you can do and things you could never do before. You're going to be full of confidence and, and, and uh, courage, you know? So we just got to hold on to this truth because really what we don't see, but we can see it through the spirit, you know, that these guys that are coming against this truth and raising war against us, they know they're losing. They're scrambling. You know, they're like Mike Vick when he played at uh, Virginia Tech, you know? <laughs> he, they're scrambling, man. They're scrambling, and they really know they're losing, so they're going to have to just come with more craftiness. They don't sit... They, they know they're not, uh, uh, and their conscience is sitting right with them. They know that these men have the truth, but they're jealous, you know, and they want to find some way. They still have hope in Esau, and, and it, you know, even with Esau, these elites, they're not sleeping right, man. It looks like they're going to win. The people who's under them, they're minions and puppets. they knowing that the rich elites got it and got this world in the bag, got to follow suit. Mm-hmm. And they believe they're going to win. But guess what? The, these elites, they're not sleeping right, man. Because why? The Lord's plaguing their minds. Mm-hmm. You know, you better believe that the Lord ain't uh, making it fine and dandy for them. Even though he pumps them up with that pride. But they also are shaking. They're, they're more shaking, you know, than the ones that are blind. You know, because they of the knowing. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, so uh, with that, uh, controlling the narrative. He's always been doing this, you know, and... Uh, you know, we're seeing how this world is playing out now. But ultimately, we're going to regain the complete and the truthful narrative to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua in these last days. So with that, we hope this thing was edifying. Let's give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua Bashim Yahshua. Number one, to the Bible, to the great millstone, and Shalom, to like I've did, going to the faith, live, love, and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom to the bro and comment boy, too. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.